I went to school in the state, States, uh, that's university, in around uh, 1964. Uh, I came back in 71. Why that timing? It's my uh, late parents, manufacturing plant in those years was doing very well. That means before, between 67 to 1971, after the riot, um, business is sort of stabilised and Hong Kong is very calm. So I thought there was an opportunity for me to come back and help in the family business. So I came back in 1971. I think in my life, another crucial point in Hong Kong's history is around 1983, uh, when uh, China and Great Britain had a discussion about the future of Hong Kong, uh, important in a sense. Because that's when a lot of us in those days feel that, hey, we're in business, but we should not purely concentrate as a businessman. Shall we get involved in the Hong Kong politics? I was appointed to the district board in 1985, and then later to the Legislative Council uh, in 88. Uh, so that's again a very uh, time-related uh, issue. Uh, of course, when you look at business uh, in Hong Kong, then I would think the timing, you have to go with the times. In the 70s, Hong Kong is perfect for manufacturing. The land is cheap, labour is cheap, overseas market, that is the States and Europe, were very strong. Uh, nowadays, you can see the emphasis uh, by our government now is on service industry, banking, uh, other uh, things like uh, tourism, uh, retail, uh, food, catering. So you can see, this is how timing have uh, changed. Uh, when you progress and the society progresses, uh, timing is everything when you want to bring in different political initiatives or not. Uh, business, of course so. When you invest in either, uh, whatever you want to invest in, uh, timing is really crucial. You don't want to be the first one to do it uh, while the market really isn't there. Uh, you don't want to be at the tail end when the market is sort of uh, falling down already and be the last one there. When we were in the manufacturing industry, we could see over a period of 10 years, our profit margin is, were getting lower and lower. We were simply no longer competitive. So when we decided to get out of the manufacturing business in 94, we were already at a point of sort of uh, losing money in whatever we were making. Then, of course, when we decided to change into a real estate investment into Hong Kong, a lot of our other friends in those days decided to move their factories uh, into China, into Shenzhen, or into Southeast Asia. So a lot of them decided to take a, a different route. Uh, in business, you got to consult uh, your staff, your business associate, but you better make decision fast. No democracy in business. You think it's right, you do it. But in politics, it's actually quite the reverse. When I feel that there's something I'm very confident uh, that's right, I should still not do it. You better talk to more people, make sure they uh, buy your rationale. So uh, it's not a one-man decision. That would be the big difference uh, in getting into politics or in business. Firstly, political uh, party in Hong Kong is really in the developing uh, stage and the voters we really have to uh, sort of grow, uh, get mature, develop, be responsible uh, voters and vote in people who can really help the government do a better job with vision for Hong Kong than to just keep complaining about uh, certain uh, issues uh, who have the support of the people we need a more amicable society. And we feel that the worldwide trend of the disparity between the rich getting richer and the poor, even though not getting poorer, they're not getting better off that much than 10, 15 years ago. That's certainly one thing we hope in the future uh, we should do better.